Hello today's video we have the following content. How popular are the female lead drama star in Sun Li, Yang Mi, Zhao Liying, and Tang Yan? The public popularity index of female stars in TV dramas is proportional to the ratings of TV dramas to a certain extent. When the plots of female lead dramas are homogenized and it is difficult to increase the ratings, the use of popular traffic stars can attract the audience's attention and satisfy the female audience's sense of substitution. Therefore, the female lead dramas on the market are basically starred by first-line traffic female stars. In 2017, Sun Li, Yang Mi, Zhao Liying, Tang Yan and other popular traffic stars almost all had a female lead drama, see Table 6 for details. Even many movie actors, Jo Soon and Tang Wei have returned to TV dramas to take on female lead dramas. Wu Ie's Royal Love in the Palace starring Jo Soon is one of the most anticipated dramas in 2018, and Tang Wei, who has never acted in a TV drama, also made her screen debut in the female lead drama The Story of Min Concubine Sun Ru Ai. This shows that the stars themselves have a high degree of recognition of female lead dramas. In addition, dramas with strong female protagonists also bring many benefits to celebrities. The mature IP adaptation model of ancient costumes with strong female protagonists can lower the entry threshold for acting skills for traffic stars, increase their exposure and popularity on the screen, and filming dramas with strong female protagonists has become an excellent transformation work. For example, Tang Yan, who has always played silly and sweet roles, successfully transformed into a black-bellied strong woman with the princess Wei Young, and Jing Tian, who has always been in the film industry but has not been very popular, has accumulated a lot of popularity with the glory of Tang Dynasty. For first-line female stars, taking on such an IP drama that is hot before it is aired can meet the needs of their development at all stages. The popularity of dramas with female protagonists has also led to an increase in the salaries of female stars. Take the currently popular Nothing Gold Can Stay as an example. Sun Li's price per episode in the drama has reached 800,000, which is 2.7 times higher than the price of 300,000 per episode in The Legend of Zhen Huan in 2011. There is no doubt that dramas with female protagonists will tilt resources to the only female protagonist to meet her needs for acting, with more roles in a three-dimensional and full image. The relative concentration of roles in conflicts can give the female protagonist better room to play and performance opportunities. Overall, the personal identity and audience image of the stars have brought unparalleled improvement and advancement to dramas with female protagonists. From the perspective of creation and production, since dramas with female protagonists are so popular, big companies will produce more dramas of this type. The model already has successful experience to follow and copy. Similar routines save time and effort for producers. Similar plots and plots can be changed to create a new drama. Why not? From the perspective of the market, there will be creation if there is demand. Cultural scholars Ang Ning pointed out, as long as women have needs, there will always be an emotional gap in media communication that needs to be filled. Cultural producers have seen through the secret of this gap. They use women's unique emotional ways to turn the media into a kind of pleasure consumption and convert surplus time and surplus emotions into surplus value. This surplus time and surplus emotions are abstracted by manufacturers into a set of data, ratings, and then resold to advertisers. In terms of post-promotion, production companies also have unique new media marketing skills. In the environment of the traffic era, the current dissemination of film and television dramas is more widely disseminated through video websites and mobile terminals. Select traffic female stars and bright young actors to carry the banner, use major social media for new media dissemination, and create relevant hot topics and events in real time to gather heat and popularity. The traffic on Weibo alone is amazing. For example, for several popular TV series in 2017, the reading volume of related topics on Sina Weibo for Ru Ie's Royal Love in the Palace, which has not yet been aired, has reached 1.04 billion, the reading volume of topics on Sina Weibo for The Glory of Tang Dynasty, which was aired at the beginning of the year, starring Jing Tian, has reached 3.28 billion. It can be seen that the promotion methods of new media have contributed greatly to the popularity of female-led dramas. Female-led dramas have a broad audience base. According to relevant surveys, the proportion of female audiences in TV dramas has reached 69%, and the proportion is still growing. Therefore, whoever wins the female audience wins the ratings. Film and television dramas must take into account or cater to the psychological demands of female audiences. 
The female-led dramas that emphasize female independence have served as spiritual comfort for modern women to a certain extent. Many female audiences find emotional and ideal sustenance from the dramas, and they resonate with the characters and plots of the dramas by putting themselves in the role of the heroine. The beautiful and brave aura of the protagonists themselves in the life experience of counterattack and growth have touched the psychological pursuits of modern women and become the direction and popular code they pursue. Taking the audience of the flowers of that year as an example, after the show was broadcast, Baidu Video conducted a big data survey on online viewers. The survey results show that the female audience of the online audience is as high as 80%, and the highest proportion of women age 25-34. The data from CMS Media Research shows that the highest proportion of women aged 45-54 in the TV audience is 69%. Based on this, we can infer a conclusion that although most of the TV and online audiences of the flowers of that year are women, the age difference is obvious. This is due to certain differences due to different cultural interests and social levels. Women of different ages have different perspectives and acceptance abilities. For older women, the concept of feminism is hope and oppression, which leads to a general psychological frustration of women, who can only rely on an idealized gender idol the heroine. For young modern women, the popularity of the heroine drama lies in touching the identity dilemma encountered by modern women in their growth and transformation, and providing a textbook-like hypothetical solution. The second reason is that women's natural characteristics make them more likely to talk about gossip and new things, share hobbies and interests and are more easily influenced and highly contagious. Therefore, female fans of the original novel will spontaneously contribute to the topic traffic of their beloved novel adaptations, share the plot and feelings, and the spread and fermentation of the internet can easily attract other female audiences. Under the influence of publicity and publicity, the audience range will only be wider. The third reason is that with the rise of women's economic and social status, women have become the largest consumer group in the cultural industry, and cultural products with women as the main consumer have appeared in large numbers. Women are not only the mainstream audience group of TV programs, but also powerful buyers of various cultural products. Women have experienced a transformation process from passive consumers to active consumers. Women's economic independence and autonomy Strong consumption capacity and demand have become a new economic growth point, so cultural products based on women's emotional experience and psychological appeals have come one after another. The drama with a strong female lead is one of these cultural products. The clustering of dramas with strong female leads is the result of the narrow encounter between consumerism and the rise of women. Dramas with female protagonists usually depict the legendary life of women from cradle to grave. The Empress of China has 82 episodes and The Legend of Minayu has 81 episodes. The long length of the dramas attracted film and television companies to spend a lot of money to buy the copyright, which is conducive to the recovery of investment costs. Quite a number of dramas with female protagonists are mass-produced products. As long as you grab a big IP that is popular before it is broadcast, and then invite popular stars to star in it, you will have a safe guarantee. The producers have no intention of studying the script and setting details, but only think about how to quickly shoot the drama and quickly get back the investment. Adhering to the principle of striking while the iron is hot, after a drama's routine receives good market feedback, similar works will spring up in the market. Over-reliance on IP dramas is the dilemma of the current TV drama production market. Such fast food production methods will inevitably produce one slot drama after another. The TV series The Lonely Queen caused huge controversy because the leading actress Angela B frequently used a stand-in and used green screen matting in post-production. Looking at the dramas of major satellite TV stations this time, many of the big dramas have the shadow of video websites behind them, such as Yoku's participation in Win the World, and Tencent Video is one of the producers of Legend of Fu Iao. Li Hao, director of the editorial office of Hunan Satellite TV, said frankly, there is no distinction between traditional and new media. The best programs and dramas are the result of interaction between the two sides, which can maximize the influence and benefits of a good drama. The unprecedented increase in the purchase of dramas has given film and television companies more investment to produce high-quality TV dramas, and the ultimate beneficiaries are the audience and netizens. In terms of investment operations, Taking Nothing Gold can stay as an example, who has she invested as much as 221 million yuan, of which the actor's salary, script development and marketing costs alone amounted to 120 million yuan. Tencent Video won the exclusive online broadcast rights of the drama for 178 million yuan, Dragon TV and Jiangsu Satellite TV, 
two satellite TV stations, won the first round of exclusive broadcast rights for 56.1 million and 58.69 million respectively. The pre-sales of only three companies have exceeded 290 million yuan, which basically confirms that the drama has recovered its costs before filming. The booming investment market has attracted more and more capital to gather in the IP acquisition and development chain of female-led dramas. Zhang Futli. A comparative study of female images in Chinese and Western film and television dramas, D. Master's thesis of Xi'an University of Architecture and Technology, 2015. Sun Gizhi. A study on Robin Warhol's feminist narratology theory, D. Doctoral dissertation of Shandong University, 2014. Li Dan. A study on American female TV series in the 21st century, D. Master's thesis of Suzhou University, 2011. Song Yanling. A comparison of the distribution of gender rights in China and the United States from the perspective of conversation interruption, D. Master's thesis of Heilongjiang University, 2009. Ruth Rosen. On American soap operas, J. Journal of Beijing Film Academy, 2002, 1. Next news. Liu Yifei has become a hit three times in three years, and one line of dialogue has become popular every year. Netizens are very satisfied with this wave of lines. As everyone knows, Liu Yifei exists as an adjective, and her appearance has reached a level that is difficult for plastic surgeons to replicate. If you look at Liu Yifei's facial features one by one, none of them are outstanding, but the overall combination is an excellent choice. Unlike other actors, Liu Yifei has participated in a very limited number of film and television works since she entered the entertainment industry. There are only a few of them. However, all the works she has starred in are excellent works, and it can be said that every one of them is a hit. After that, for a long period of time, she appeared in the entertainment industry without a trace. In 2022, the costume drama Dream of Hulu starring her and Chen Zio was broadcast, and she entered the public eye again. Since Dream of Hulu, through going to a windy place, to this year's The Story of Roses, three hits have been presented in three years. Liu Yifei once again proved that people will always fall in love with Liu Yifei repeatedly at different stages. As netizens said, Liu Yifei's appearance is her least praiseworthy advantage. So, what kind of charm does she have? A story about roses. Since then, the world has opened up before my eyes, leading me to where my heart is, and I am completely and resolutely in control of myself. This is Wang Yimei's classic words in a story about roses. Hearing this, the audience couldn't help but tremble. Indeed, everyone is born with freedom, and we should take ourselves as the center of life. Liu Yifei fully demonstrated Wang Yimei's freedom and ease. When she was with her first love Zhang Guadong, played by Pang Guanying, she was young and ignorant, but gave everything without reservation. At the beginning of her marriage with her ex-husband Fang Zhuan, played by Lin Zhengxin, she had a vision of marriage, but in the end she was full of disappointment. So she made a decisive decision and decided to divorce resolutely. After the divorce, she met her soulmate, Fu Jiaming, played by Huo Jianhua. Even though she knew that he had little time left, she still stayed with him and never left him. In the end, she resolutely rejected the pursuit of the young man his eye, played by Lin Yi, because she didn't want to be in a long-distance relationship again. In these four relationships, each of Wang Yimei's experiences has prompted her to grow. However, she did not lose her longing for love because of the frustration of her previous relationship. Many viewers have a negative attitude towards Liu Yifei's acting skills. They think that Liu Yifei is just lucky and good at choosing scripts. However, is this really the case? Indeed, many viewers praised the drama. They envied Wang Yimei and said that she always had the courage to start over. However, some netizens held different views, saying, In terms of Wang Yimei's background, her life should not be like this. She really made the originally good situation terrible. Not only that, netizens even criticized the plot of this drama for being extremely lacking in depth, and it was a Mary Sue-style plot that only told about love. Rather than saying that Liu Yifei is good at choosing scripts, it is better to say that Liu Yifei played the role of Wang Yimei very deeply. Many people think that Liu Yifei is destined to be Wang Yimei, but director Wang Jun said in an interview, Liu Yifei is quite quiet and introverted in private and even has some intermittent social phobia, which forms a strong contrast with Wang Yimi. Where the wind is. I hope to find a place where no one knows me, and quietly act as a useless mediocre person. This is Su Hongdao's classic words in Where the Wind Is.
This sentence is also the inner feelings of many young people who work hard in big cities. Since the beginning of our birth, we have been in the involution, and our steps have never stopped. During the school stage, we are often exhausted by our academic performance, after entering the workplace, we often toss and turn because of work. However, the result of long-term stress and mental exhaustion is body aches. In Go Where the Wind Goes, the sudden death of her best friend made her think about the meaning of life again. She asked herself, can career success bring happiness? Is it worth it to earn money with one's life? The answer is no, so she decided to quit her job and go to Yunnan for a trip. After arriving in Yunnan, she felt a sense of relaxation she had never felt before. Here, she did not need to rush to take the subway in the morning, but could enjoy the natural awakening state and cook a nutritious breakfast for herself. Here, she also met the person she would spend her life with. With the broadcast of Go Where the Wind Goes, the city of Yunnan has become extremely popular. Many netizens came to check in, taste the food that Su Hongdao had eaten, and go to the places that Su Hongdao had been to. It has to be admitted that Liu Yifei has promoted the progress of Yunnan's tourism industry with her personal efforts. In today's society that pursues fame and fortune, occasionally choosing to lie flat may not be a bad thing. In fact, no one despises you, and the one who despises you the most is you yourself. This is Zhao Painter's classic remarks in Dream of Hulu. This drama is also a drama with a big woman theme. When she was abandoned by her fiancé, she did not shout hysterically and she relied on her own efforts to gain a foothold in the capital. In the process of pursuing her dreams, she also found true love. It shows that love is not about the man being the master outside and the woman being the master inside, but that both parties are equally strong. Not only that, Sun San Yang, played by Liu Yan, and Song Yinsheng, played by Lin Yun, are also gradually redeemed by Zhao Painter. Sun San Yang is straightforward and diligent, but her husband betrayed her and her son was useless. Song Yin's Hang is really a complete love brain. Because of love, she completely ignored the obstruction of her family and was he even willing to run away with a bad man. After Xiao Painter's persuasion, they finally understood that women should not rely on others for their expectations. In the end, the three of them achieved the state that all women yearn for. Conclusion. These three dramas undoubtedly have both healing properties and educational value. However, if you want to bear the weight of the crown, you must bear its responsibilities. Under the applause, there are many voices of doubt. However, in my opinion, the current era is no longer an era of blindly pursuing thin beauty, and our fairy sister has nothing to do with fat. Liu Yifei has presented three hit dramas in just three years. Compared with other actors, she has reached the peak. Finally, the editor would like to ask you, what do you think of Liu Yifei's three hits in three years phenomenon? Welcome to leave a message in the comment area and discuss together. Genome Times June 29, 2024 Liu Yifei talked about her interpretation of the role of Wang Yumi, and wanted to explore the creation of a true rose image. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,